Hi foodies, this is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk and I'm, I ordered a pachoni, which is a goat belly, the intestine of the goat. And I'm going to pick that up now and we're going to make a lovely pachoni. So I'm here for my goat belly. We have all the chicken in the back there. There's all my nice guys back there. And as you can see foodies, lots of people is coming by to get their fresh for the weekend. And here I have a price list that you could look at. Okay. And this is what the prices right. are. So you can always come by here on Eli right. Avenue. Thank just you. let them know their Muslim sisters right. send you Jenny's walk. And they will take care of you. And here is all my goats and sheep, mutton, good fresh meat over here. So here we go. We have some chicken and chicken. Here we have the broilers or whatever. Our pachoni or goat belly that I got from the guy this is what it looked like let's take a look so they clean it by just taking out the stuff from inside but now you have to open it up and really scrub all this and give it a good wash in hot water see how this look this is like the towel type looking one this had several different parts. wow it smells so high there you go this is another part over here this is a honeycomb this part is the honeycomb. There you go. I don't know. This is a little round and round and round and round. And these are the. <laughs> this is like the cola. So, for these, the water is going to run on hot. So, the best thing to do, run it on hot water here, is to just let that hot water go all through, all through the entire one, the entire part of this. But what I will do, I will cut it where you could manage some coffee in there and let it sit in there. Or you could let it sit in hot water also because we're going to pour more hot water too on it. So we're going to clean them up and we're going to just drop it into the coffee. What the coffee does, for gamey meat like this, uh, the coffee will, will take away that, that's, that rank or rank or whatever. So these little ones now, I'm going to show to you. I'm going to cut one. And you're gonna get one of this, you know, the skewers and them that you have. And then you're gonna stick it just like so, and we're gonna flip it inside out. There you go, you see? <laughs> there you go, and you clean this whole thing. You see, look at that, mucus and all of that. Now, you know the cameraman doesn't want any part of this. There you go, then you could take, slide this out now. Mm. It's a little bit slimy, very much slimy. And you take, you flip the whole thing inside out. There you go. And now we're going to take the knife and we're going to scrape this out. So this one now, foodies, is the big one. Like the, it's like a bath towel. So again, as I say, you cut what you could. Ooh, this is you can't even pull apart. So you cut what you could manage. There you go, just like so. And just one now put your pipe on spray and now you're just going to scrape away so all of this is going to come off so for these this is a tube this is like the tube type part of it so you're going to give it a good scrape and get all of this out just like so so now for these you clean one side and now you just flip it over on the other side just like so so this is a big one so it will just flip over there you go we get that tube to come out and this is the hot water that is running in the pipe and now you're going to do the same thing on the side so this is a knife i will use to give that good scrape 
Now you do not want to put lem lemon, lime or vinegar just yet. Yes, it will clean it very clean, but having your meat sit too long is going to toughen your meat. So while you're doing this process of scraping and adding the hot water and boiled water, the best thing to do is to add your coffee and salt. Just plain old coffee and salt to get that that scent out. So it will calm the scent down a lot with the coffee because it's a gamey meat. So this is how we're gonna do the towel type looking one. So foodies, this took me two, uh, two hours and 45 minutes, believe it or not. So here I have lemon. I'm gonna squeeze this lemon in here. And while I was soaking it, while I was cutting it, I had it in, um, in coffee and salt. So this is salt in here. And this is my lime and the lemon. I'm going to have this sit in here now for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So now, please, I'm going to let this uh, salt really dissolve in there now and let this sit in here for 10 minutes. So, foodies, this is all clean and nice now from the lemon and the lime. I'm going to put it in here and in goes my coffee. I made a strong batch of coffee and it's hot water and hot coffee. And we're going to let this sit in here for a good 10 minutes. Okay, foodies, so we're all ready. And this is all my sofrito. We're going to add all of that in. Our green seasoning, as we would say, or sofrito. And to this, I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric or haldi. And that is all. I'm going to mix this up really nice. So you let it sit on the counter for one hour. And then I'm going to put it into the refrigerator for overnight. So my dear foodies, very time consuming. This is that goat belly or goat stomach or also known as goatee in Hindi. So it's all clean. This thing take me exactly three hours. I couldn't use my wrists. And my fingers again they were all crinkled it's time consuming it's best you get like uh, two three people to help you to clean them up really nicely so here yeah, it's all done using that coffee to really eliminate the scent but it still smells a bit so being that it's a gamey meat so now all you gotta do now my dear foodies what i will do i will give it a little boil like half a cook boil and then make it into whatever style you want whether it be masala uh tomato stew soup or add it to other any vegetables you want to cook it you just give it a good boil and you could put it in the freezer and take it out to make that favorite dish that you want another great idea here from jenny's walk bringing to you how to clean a goat belly goat stomach pachoni boti whatever name you know let me know leave in the comment below what part of the world you from it's a great delight it's a great delicious meal sorry to use part of the animal to use like in uh, italy the philippines all over asia and india you know so let me know where you're from and how you make yours i know there are many other styles outside there so from jenny's walk i'm leaving you now to continue making yours and post me a picture leave me a comment how i did on this so from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking